Good morning everyone. My name is Swara Sanjay Deshmukh. My name is Isha Mahendra Matare. Today we will tell the story of the three little fish and the shark. Once upon a time, there were three little fishes. They were all sisters. As they grew, it came time to them to go in a deep wide ocean to find their way and make their homes. Before they swam out in different directions, the three little fishes talked together about what kind of homes they wanted. I want to live somewhere plenty of food. I want to live somewhere is beautiful. I want to live somewhere safe. Have you heard about Big Bad Shark? He swam around the bottom of the ocean looking for little fishes. A lot. He is strong and he is fat. And he has a huge, a huge shark tail. We need to find a good friends to hide and to protect us from big bad shark. So the three little fishes agreed to look for safe things and they all swam off in a different direction. When the first little fishy tired of swimming, so she stopped and looked around. And wonder she, and she might to make home with something new guy. Look at how this weird seaweed lying around. Maybe I can make a home at a wave. There will be great to know I have a home. But anytime I get hungry, I can have a little seaweed. So the fish is back to work and make herself a little house. The seaweed is draft in in a current, but the fish was able to swim in sand. Oh, this seaweed looks delicious. Time for a little bite. Just then, the big bad shark swam in the weed. Did someone say it's a time for a bite? Just I was thinking. I am starving. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. Not by my skills, my finny fan fair. Then I will munch, then I will crunch, and I will chop your house. Then the big bad shark munch, and he crunch, and he tore the little seaweed about, apart with his big sharp teeth. Fortunately, he was so busy in chopping the house, the little fish was able to swim quickly away. Ah, ah. And the shark swam off in the search of another snack. Meanwhile, the second little fish had also gone tired of looking for home. She must stop a rest. Look at how these tall shells on the ocean floor. Maybe I can make home out of these, which will be beautiful. So she picked out some shiniest and most beautiful shells and stack arranged them with great theme and then she have made a house with tiny shell it's a perfect i love it i think this is the prettiest house in a whole ocean just then the big bad shark swam in a hungry hi what's that shiny thing over there the house is made up of shells little fish little fish let me come in not my scales, my finny fan fed. I will munch and I will crunch and I will chop your I will chop your house with my sharp teeth. And the shark took longer time because the shells are hard and stuck in his teeth. The little fish just take enough time to swim away. Wow, my beautiful house! The shark swam hungrily away. At the same time, the third little fish, who had been diligently searching for good and safe house, came upon a beautiful weed. So she looked at this place. It's wonderful. It's so beautiful, so pleasant and nice. There is plenty to eat here. And look at the places behind. A shark can never find this in here. 
It's a perfect home. So she called her fish sisters on her shelf phone. Girls, come see what I found. The two little fishes come by swimming. Look at this place, sisters. Everything we need. Oh, what a yummy alegre. Everything is tasty. Oh, it's so beautiful. Even prettier than house of shells. And lots of place to hide from big bad shark. Plus we are safe from big shark teeth. Let's make a home together. Oh, oh, the shark came. The three little fishes hide in the house, the sea pig. I know there are little fishes hiding there, but I can see them. Ouch, it is hard. It is Ouch, it is hard. Too sharp. Maybe I just go and find some seaweed. Hey, hey, that shark did not move. Then he can chew. He goes. Come out, girls. If he ever comes again, we'll hide again. The three little fishes made their homes the cutting. And the three sisters live happily under the sea. Moral. Don't judge a book by its cover. Like shark has just thought seaweed as a normal. But he can't. That. Good morning everyone. My name is Neha and she is my friend Anna. She will tell you one story of the cow and the lion. Five cows lived in a little forest. They ate grass in a large median. They were kind friends. They decided to do everything together so the lion could not attack them for the food. One day the cows fought and each one started to eat grass in the different places. One day the lion decided to seize the opportunity and kill them one by one. Moral of the story is unity is the strength. Thank you. Good morning everyone. We are performing story on well and the water. That was a long time ago. A dead man lived in a state. He was very clever. He had a well. One day he sold that well to a simple farmer. The farmer bought that well for 1000 rupees. The next day the farmer reached to get water from the well. The tradesman was taking a bath at the well to the farmer. Seeing this the banya said, You cannot fill water from this well. Farmer listening to Banya was surprised. He said, Mister, only yesterday I bought this well from you. Have purchased the whole thousand rupees have been given. On hearing this, Banya cleverly said, Okay, please, you have bought a well, haven't you? But his water has not been bought. Right now, I am the master of the water of this well. I want water. You will have to pay for every bucket. The poor farmer could not give any answer. He was very sad and went straight to the king. The, the king listened to all his words carefully. Then he called the banya. When the tradesman reached the court, the king asked him, Who is the owner of that well? Banya replied, Maharaj, the farmer is the owner of that well, but I am the owner of the water of that well. I sold him only wells, not water. The king understood the cleverness of Banya 
the king again asks that well belongs to the farmer doesn't it yes sir banya said and your well water the king asks again yes sir after hearing this the king said if the well belongs to the farmer then why has the banya kept his water in it Hundred rupees will have to be give, give, given to the farmer. The tradesman got scared after listening to the king. He held the feet of the king. The king said, "This time I forgive you, but never again. If you trouble me, I will put you in jail." Now the farmer was very happy because he had. God justice thank you hello everyone my name is kanika today i am going to narrate the real story of elephant few years ago there lived an elephant she was very hungry inside baby was hungry too she walked to the river She walked to the village in search of food. She entered into the village. One man offered the pineapple. She started eating, but suddenly it exploded in her mouth because it was filled with fire crackers. As the pain was unbearable, after few minutes she went to the river. in the water the local man informed the department to they came and tried to get elephant out but it they failed after due to this due to this she died 3 days later don't you think it is an elephant's fault she trusted we humans why we don't understand animals have life they get hurt so don't harm animals as show the humanity towards them thank you good good morning everyone today we will perform a short story our story name is the crow and the fox once upon a time the crow was very hungry but he did not get anything to eat He got tired and sat on a branch of a tree. Suddenly, he saw a piece of a cheese in a plate. He flew near the plate and picked it in his beak. And he is now looking for a safe place to sit because he never wanted to share it with anyone. And now he sat on a quiet place on a tree. Hi, handsome crow. I am Foxy Foxy. I live nearby. My friends told me that you have very crows have very sweet voice. Is it true? I have never heard a crow singing a song. Would you please sing for me, please? The crow was surprised because no one has praised his voice before. But he kept quiet. Fox continued. Dear crow, you look so handsome with your shiny feathers. I hope you will sing a song for me. The crow was cried with the fox words. He opened his beak and started singing. Cow, cow. Down fell the cheese. Fox picked it and ate it all and ran away. Now the crow realized what he had done. He felt very bad. He should not have to believe the fox at all. Moral: Beware of flatterers. They are not to be trusted. Thank you.